G'day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today, we've got a little bit of a strange one. So I'm just going to tell you the name, it's the Conquest S11. Check that bad boy out, that is huge. We're going to do a quick review on this, now the reason I'm doing a review on this, is because my friend bought it online, I'd never heard of it, but I couldn't believe what I seen when he brought it to me. So I thought, hey, I'm going to do a quick first look and review and that sort of thing. Uh, it's not going to be in depth because I've never seen it before. It will not be here for any more than another 12 hours. So we'll just see how it goes. But anyway, like I said, the Conquest S11. Let's see how it goes. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. And let's get stuck into the video. All right, now the first thing we're going to look at with the Conquest S11 is the size of it. I mean, look how thick that is. Did it have to be at least 15 millimeters thick? Actually, let's check out the specs on this bad boy and get the real depth, width, everything for it because it is something I've never seen. I mean, look at that. Now, it is 19 millimeters thick, so almost two centimeters, 162 millimeters tall, 82 millimeters across. But in all that, you still only get a five inch display. There's the display. And that's just because it's purely protected by bezels and battery. Look at the bezels on that thing. It's certainly not, you know, the phones of today are bezel-less and really flash looking. This is like a heavy duty Tonka truck uh, of a phone. Just massive. 7,000 milliamp hour battery. 5 inch 1080p display, so I think it's 430 ppi, I'm not too sure exactly on that. And if I have a look through, we're running Android 7.0 on here, and I did see somewhere online that it will not get updates. It is now going to be stuck on Android 7.0 forever, and it's currently running Android security patch level 5th of November. 2017 but hey this is IP68 certified it's got NFC it's got push to talk button here I'm not sure who uses push to talk anymore volume up and down on the sides here power button and your camera button camera let's I'm gonna have a bit of a test here Sixteen megapixel camera, and I've got to tell you that shutter is slow. Uh, the quality of the picture, pretty grainy. I mean, there's nothing too flash about the, the rear-facing camera. And we'll do a quick selfie. Now, someone told me recently in a comment, please smile more in your selfies. So, let's get a selfie done. <laughs> that shutter is super, super slow. But there you go, there's the image quality of the selfie. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's the best camera, but it's certainly not the worst. But that shutter speed is super, super slow. Now this is also running 6 gigs of RAM, has 128 gigabyte of onboard storage, and you can also add in a memory card as well, and I believe that's up to 128 gigabytes as well. you got your end call, start call buttons here. Other than that, it's a pretty stock Android sort of feel to it. I will go in and show you quickly. Settings, you do have some other options in here. One-handed mode, eye protection mode, background task clear, screen recording button, uh, system motion. Right? I mean, there's just lots of weird little uh, tweaks that you'd probably see in sign engine mode or lineage ROM, uh, something like that. So not too bad at all. I can't get over that battery though. Here is the charging pad. And that just clips on like that. It's a magnet, so it's a pretty heavy duty magnet. Oh, we dooly. Anyway, 4G phone. My friend who owns this works in the mines. He's a dump truck driver. I mean, he just needs a good long battery life because he's out of out working away for a long time, so you know, this has got 29 days standby time, and he said if he uses a lot of internet and YouTube, he gets about three days of use out of it. Uh, if he doesn't use internet and YouTube and that sort of thing while he's out and about, he gets about a full week's use out of it. 
But if you turn it on and just leave it sitting there, you're gonna get 29 days of backup power supply for it. And with a 7,000 milliamp hour battery, you could probably start your car with that. This does weigh about 350 grams, so about that double the weight of your standard sort of flagship smartphone. Um, so that's pretty hefty. It's not a bad device. It's just not what we're used to. I've never seen such chunk on a phone. Hit me up if you've got any questions about it down below. I, uh, Like I said, I'm not going to have this device to keep. I'm giving it back to my friend. Uh, to put your SIM card in, you actually do need a screwdriver or probably a butter knife. But you need to unclip here, unscrew that, lift it out, and that's where your SIM and your memory card go. All the buttons are pretty tactile. No issue there with the buttons. It also has infrared as well, I'm led to believe. You've got your headphone jack, which is uh, really unheard of in this day and age. There's your headphone jack, so nice to see. So this is different. This is not what you normally get with a smartphone. It's a massive chunk of a device. Let's have a quick look at the volume on it. Now we're going to test, see my friend is uh, subscribed to my channel, and yes he is, he's lucky. G'day everyone, Connor here from Hit the like on my video. Back with video. Today we're doing a video test on the Oppo R11S. We're going to do front facing, rear facing, 720p, 1080p and 4K. So without further ado, let's get stuck into my video. Yeah! Okay, first test is with the 720p front-facing camera. Uh, we will test 1080p shortly, but this is 720p. Everything doesn't look too bad. Colors look fairly true to life. I can see the white colors do look... Not too bad. The sound's a little bit tinny, but it's loud, so you're certainly going to hear it ringing if you're outside working, which is what this is designed for. Um, Nothing gentle about it, nothing fragile about it. I would definitely say maybe if you're a fisherman or out in construction or mining or just generally have butterfingers and drop your phones all the time, this might be for you. Or you might need someone who uses that 7,000 milliamp hour battery. Definitely not my thing, but hey, I can see where it's going to come in handy. Some people are going to love it. It's got GPS, Aglonus and Baudu, Boudou. Um, GPS tracking system so it covers uh, uh, all three major GPS systems there um, so look I really don't think there's going to be too many issues with those who know what they're buying it's currently selling for $710 Australian so that's a lot of money it's a lot of money for a phone you've never heard of but hey if it lasts five years because it should I mean, I'm, you drop that, doesn't really matter, I guess. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments down below. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff, and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.